little feetsies. Hi there, little feetsies. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Yana. Today we have three things <laughs> on our plate. Uh, first of all is the uh, Moonflower by Notebook Therapy Unboxing. Um, then we have the um, mini stationery haul uh, that I recently just got and then um, and then it's like a little bit of desk organization because like as you can see behind here I actually bought a um, this is actually meant for like the nail polish um, organization uh, but I saw a few people actually use this for their washi tape as their washi tape holder so yeah I need to reorganize a bit of my desk because I do have a okay this chair is blocking it but <clears throat> I do have a new keyboard and a mouse because um, my as you guys have seen in probably some of the <coughs> project videos I don't know why am I losing my voice <coughs> okay uh, what do you call it in the proof few previous um, videos, the project videos, we might have seen that I'm using the um, laptop on the top shelf there so it's actually like quite far for me to like, I'm always like this when I'm typing so I decided that I should probably get a keyboard, a second keyboard so that I'm more comfortable like at least the screen is at eye level and then my shoulders are not tensed up so yeah so there's a few things that I need to rearrange back on my desk and yeah so let's start off with the first agenda of the day <laughs> which is to unbox the uh, notebook therapy moon flower book bullet journal <laughs> honestly this, this one, <clears throat> it literally just came like this and I haven't even opened it yet so I'm gonna open it now um, the whole reason why I have not like purchased any um, branded notebooks before because <clears throat> when it comes to um, when it comes to like the conversion rate it's actually quite expensive in Malaysian ringgit okay seriously my voice is going on and off I'm pretty sure I have to edit a lot of this video because <clears throat> my voice is really going on and off. Am I losing my voice? No! <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> uh, so the reason, one of the reasons, yeah, I was saying, one of the reasons is because it's very expensive, especially with the conversion rate and everything. So I'm always hesitant like to spend 100 ringgit plus like probably 100 ringgit is not much for you guys in the US or wherever else but 100 ringgit is quite a lot for Malaysians so to think that you're going to spend 100 ringgit for a book <laughs> it's very like it makes you hesitate a lot so yeah that's why I was hesitating but when I saw the a uh, moonflower book by notebook therapy I was like can I please just once just this once it's probably not gonna be once but <laughs> just this once get a branded uh, bullet journal like a notebook like can I just this once just do it uh, and then I just got it <laughs> I actually missed on the first restock because the moonflower um, uh, bullet journal actually went out of stock and then they restocked it and then during that uh, restock when they were selling it back again I was hesitant like I was hesitating so much that I actually didn't buy it didn't get it at that point of time but when and I was completely regretting it because I didn't get it but on the second time when they restocked again I was like you know what screw this I'm just gonna get it because I just really want it. I honestly just really really want it. Like I just want one branded bullet journal in my life. Just one. <laughs> I know probably after this I'm gonna buy. Probably once a year thing, but just once 
first first so yeah mm. I like their font their font is so cute notebook therapy it says thank you I am going to assume that the Japanese word down there is arigato arigato <coughs> I'm not sure what it says but I'm going to assume that it says arigato then it says notebooktherapy.com oh, If you guys don't know notebook therapy yet uh, In my eyes <laughs> In my eyes I see uh, notebook therapy and Olive um, Archer and Olive is like on the same par In my eyes Like to me I see them as the same par So yeah So if you, you Probably most of y'all know about Archer and Olive But not really familiar with notebook therapy so notebook therapy to me it's like another brand that's on par with Archer and Olive I don't know the backstory of notebook therapy just yet I'll probably do some research after this but yeah uh, the cover is so pretty like this is the packaging cover not even the not even the book cover this is so pretty you guys know that I am full on with the moon stuff. Like I don't really know much about the moons like in scientific terms. But I really love moon stuff, moon aesthetics since young. It probably has to do with Sailor Moon a lot. <laughs> but I can't even remember Sailor Moon like most of the episodes at this point of time, uh, at this point of age. But, <laughs> I'm just very attracted to Moon and I mentioned this in my one of my previous videos as well that um, my birthstone, like if you, like the most generic one is the ruby for cancers but if you like go and dig deep uh, with your um, astrological sign and stuff like that, mine is actually the Moonstone so I was extremely excited when I got to know that my my like birthstone is actually a moonstone. I was like, yes. <laughs> when everything aligns, it just feels amazing. So yeah. Okay, I'm gonna open it. Oh, I can't get over the packaging. Packaging is so pretty. Okay. So they come to this tissue paper. gold um, lining here of course you see it <laughs> this gold lining is so oh the color uh, I'm caressing the color <laughs> if the book could file a lawsuit then I'll probably get sued for harassment <laughs> okay is this something about the texture that it feels so nice in flower it's so pretty. Can you imagine that like, you're spending so much? Like some people that probably spend a lot just because of this. Just this. Not even like the book. Just this. <laughs> That's probably me, but yeah. <laughs> ooh, ooh. So this is how the paper feels like. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's stuck. <laughs> Okay, okay, we are all good. Alright, it says Suki Moonflower Edition, Bu Suki Moonflower Edition, Bullet Journal by Notebook Therapy. Uh, this is a bread. Ooh, the papers are really thick. Okay, it's um, 160 GSM if I'm not mistaken. Oh, so this is what 160 GSM paper feels like. <laughs> Because I've not uh, used um, any, like I said, I've not used any sort of. Oh, the pages are all sticking. Like, is this normal? Probably because of, of the gold foil. But I guess you just have to like, like do this <clears throat> to make it um to make it not stick. I guess. I guess. Okay, so this is my first time. 
uh, getting a book that has this thickness, the paper thickness. So now I know how it feels like. Now I know how it feels like. Um, if some of you might have remembered, or still remember, or probably you've forgotten, let me just refresh you guys. Um, uh, refresh your minds that I am working on a self-care bullet journal kit. And I did say I am going to like uh, be hand-making um, a two versions of a book. One is more of like those like sample papers ish that you get to sample on different different sort of uh medium which is the um white dotted uh white dotted pages white grid pages um and then the black dotted ones and the black grid ones so there's going to be like and also the uh, paper craft ones so yeah, that book is going to have like different different sort of uh, papers and then one more is like for you to try bullet journaling for 90 days. So basically that bullet journal is only going to last you for about 3 months. And yeah, so that one is going to be full on just white uh, dotted pages. So I actually need to know like how this actually 160 GSM paper feels like because the first 160 GSM paper that I got it's actually more on the glossier side, like it doesn't have this matte feeling to it. Or probably it's actually the same. It could be the same because honestly, it actually is not glossy, it's actually matte. But once you write on it, right, uh, once uh, the ink like dries up, as if you're using brush, it's going to like take like a few more seconds for it to dry. But on like if normal um, pens and stuff like that, after you finish writing, you kind of feel like, you'll notice that it actually feels glossy towards the end. But it's actually matte paper. So I actually need to like, um, compare it with this paper. Like, is it the same or do I have to go and hunt for another set of papers? Because I did buy a whole stack of it. <laughs> I did buy a whole stack of it. So if it's the wrong one, then I probably need to go and hunt again for a proper um, paper that will fit for the bullet journal oh the pages are so thick and good okay this is definitely going to be my um 2021 <laughs> bullet journal for sure oh and then back here it says uh only at night do my ideas bloom like the moonflower oh that's so beautiful i feel like that is so beautiful <laughs> Because technically, my ideas do spark most mostly at night, like before I sleep, and then it makes it makes me can't sleep because I am just like so wide awake thinking about it. So yeah, that that quote really suits me. And then behind here, oh shit! <laughs> behind here they have that pocket thingy, and in that pocket they had this. Oh, this is so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna put this here. This is so pretty. It's yeah, it's, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Ah, oh, I know it's just like wired wires twined, but still, <laughs> it's pretty. Okay, so that's the um, unboxing for this. I will probably only review this when I'm starting the 2021 um, bullet journal setup, but I am not touching this under 2021. I'm keeping this. This is like a baby. <laughs> it's a baby for me. And then... The stationaries. So, <clears throat> for the stationaries, I actually got this. It was totally unnecessary because I barely use paper clips, but <laughs> it was so cute. I just like couldn't couldn't not get it. Like this is the uh, coffee cup, the like bubble tea coffee cup thingy, and then <clears throat> this is the cat versions. I actually wanted this. Uh, actually, one cat that is white in color but has this. Um, markings on the face and it actually is um it will actually be the same as my cat Tori um Toriko 
for short we call him Tori <coughs> so yeah but then um, but then the whole set like the rest of the set was like they had like stains on it so I was like uh, no <laughs> I'm not getting it but all of this oh and this one it's a very cute um, girls with um, what, what what hats are this I can't remember what's the name of this hat but it's so cute <laughs> I just couldn't stop myself from getting it <coughs> <coughs> the thing is uh, all this right because we I got it at um, Mr. DIY Mr. DIY here, um, I don't know whether you guys have it overseas, but Mr. DIY is pr practically like a $2 shop. Uh, there are some things which are more expensive, but most of their stationery stuff, in general, all their stuff is way cheaper than a normal supermarket priced items. So yeah, so I, this is only like uh, one ringgit, one ringgit something, so it's probably like a quarter. <laughs> I don't know, my conversions are quite bad, but it's like, it's less than a dollar. So, that's why I got it. It's so cute. It's so cute and it's so cheap. And technically, it's functional. It's just that I don't use paper clips that much. I probably should start using them more. <laughs> but yeah, it's so cute. And speaking of paper clips, right? Do any one of you know where can I find like this huge paper clip? Because I actually do want to make my own set of paper clips like in the near future to add into my collection of stationeries into the shop. So if you guys know where I can get this, please do let me know in the comment section below. Thank you! And then, and then I actually bought a bunch of washi tapes. I know <laughs> I said before during my last washi tape haul that I am not going to buy any more washi tapes. But, 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 but <laughs> I just couldn't resist this. Uh, this was from uh, Kaisen. Kaisen has really a lot of like pretty stuff. Like they have the prettiest stationeries, and they're quite cheap. Like uh, the reason, the whole reason why, like I just bought the whole stack because uh, <clears throat> the last time that I bought the um, stationery, uh, not stationery, the washi tips from Kaisen each of them actually was selling for $8.90 but now it's $4.90 so the moment I saw it was just $4.90 for 5 uh, is it called strips? no 5 washi tips 5 rolls of washi tip. I was like yeah I'm definitely getting it like the uh, like was it, was it even like a uh, thing to question about I'm pretty sure you don't question stuff like that. It's cheap and their quality is usually good. I don't know. I haven't swatched this yet. But their quality is usually good. And it's pretty. Cheap, pretty and quality is good. Why would you question it? Just get it. <laughs> Just get it first. <laughs> so yeah. So I got this. I will um, later on or probably now later on <laughs> later on I will add in the swatching um, the swatching videos I guess yeah later on towards the end of the video so keep your eyes on this video till the end thank you last thing is actually the one of the organizers is actually just a book stand but as you can see like through there the reflection on through here. I actually do have like a bunch of books that I actually want to keep on the table for easy access because I do go to these books quite often and because I'm just stacking them like that so every single time I pick up one book everything just falls. <laughs> so I really need something that's more like organized and more like aesthetically pleasing. So yeah so I got this from Daiso. This is only like a uh, $5.90 now. You know what, Daiso actually started off with 5 ringgit and then it went to uh, 560? 560 or 540, I'm not sure. And then now it's like 590. Yeah, they have been increasing their price. They have, they have been increasing their pricings for all their items, so that sucks. But considerably, they're still one of the cheaper stalls, stores. So yeah. So now, 
I am going to shift you guys to the swatches. Honestly, I am so loving this washi tapes. It's so pretty. I don't even know when I'm going to use them, but it's so pretty. So we shall not question our decisions, <laughs> our purchasing decisions, our stationary purchasing decisions. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I think that's all for today. Don't worry, don't worry. I know you guys are wondering like, where's the desk organization? Well, I decided to use the desk organization as the ending video clip so yeah so just take a look until the video ends and i will say my goodbyes now <laughs> if you like this kind of video please um let me know by hitting that like button and then uh if you guys have any suggestions of that paper clip that i mentioned like where do i get them or do you, like, do you guys know any link that I can go to? And what do you think about the whole notebook therapy, uh, book collections? Like, just let me know about all this bullet journal stuff, stationery stuff in the comment section below. Lastly, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell to be notified every single time I will post my new videos. And yeah, I will leave you guys to my desk organization. Bye-bye! <laughs> Love you guys! Mwah. Thank you.